Tapna people. So you may be wondering, Sean, why are you and Dano like dressed so much nicer than you normally dress? We're not clothes. I'd say we actually dress like this pretty much every day. And no, but you remember in the few videos ago I was saying, you know, I have to start being more mature and dressing properly and everything. Not really messing. We just went to the jobs fair for the J1 and we both just got a job in the yes. same place yes. in San Francisco for the summer. Working on the Golden Gate Bridge, like beside the Golden Gate Bridge. Bike rental. Bike rental. <laughs> it's gonna be the best summer ever. Yeah. This is gonna be a best vlog ever, even though it's <laughs> 10 past two when we're starting this vlog. But uh, yeah, we're both like buzzing okay. right now. And we're about to go do buzzing burrito bits. Ooh, is that alliteration? alliteration. <laughs> I think it is. See you in a bit, let's go. All right, what's happening everybody? So we're just back from that, uh, from town there really. So after the hiring fair, I went down to the passport office because as I said to you in the last video, I still don't have a passport at the minute because my passport expires the 28th of February. So obviously I need to get a new one um, to go to America and stuff. So I have to book an appointment to go to get a passport to go to America because I'd be kind of stupid if I got the job and everything and then can't go because I don't have a passport. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just absolutely delighted with life. I mean, the two of us walked in. We were walking in interviews as well. Like we were, we didn't even know we could go to this until tomorrow, until yesterday. And uh, we walked in. We saw there was like a hundred people ahead of us who already had like allocated jobs and everything. We were like, oh, we're going to get stuck with some crap job and some crap place that people don't want to go. But uh, yeah, we got San Francisco for the entire summer. And basically, the the job is we're doing uh, bike rental. So it's it's like a company on the Golden Gate Bridge called Blazing Saddles, and we're going to be working there. Um, renting bikes to people for the entire summer it's gonna be great like and we're, it's only four days a week as well so you do four 10-hour shifts in the week and then you have three days off which is gonna be perfect for me for like vlogging and stuff like that so uh i actually just can't wait we're gonna go head to the gym now chest and back it's gonna be a good workout too because we're just in a great mood so uh let's see in a bit let's go so we're up it's chest day on monday when i was training on my own second last chest and back workout of the bulk. I hit 130 for one on the flat bench. I just did 110 for five with Dana, but it was real easy, so I might try hit 130 again, just to show off for you guys. But I don't also want to kill myself, so uh, see what happens. Let's go. All right, what's going on everybody? So I said, I'm just gonna do a commentary over this really quickly, just to explain what happened here. So as you can see, this is 125, right? This is 4-1, just kind of still warming up to that 130. Get it quite easily. Bit of a struggle see it's quite happy there probably shouldn't have gone any heavier though so here's me cycling myself up you know as i do getting ready for 130 thinking to myself yeah great gonna nail this now i nailed it on monday gonna get it again easy and what i do is i bring the bar down too high up on my chest as you can see there and i stick and dano has to help me up with the bar now i still pushed it up myself but it was too high you can see there i was like saying it's too high on my chest so i said no nope, i'm going for that again i have it in the bag so i went for it again 1.30 and this happened and I nearly dislocated my shoulder. I actually did hurt my shoulder, continued on with the workout, but I did hurt it quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of the clip and uh, get into a proper workout editor now in a minute. Thanks for watching us. Well, what's happening? So you saw me nearly die benching there. I think I dislocated my shoulder, it's not a big deal. We're going to do a uh, superset now. Wide grip pull up superset with table rolls with a towel. Because we're old school, like Arnie. Let's go. Thank you. 
As you saw um, at the start when I was benching you, yeah, I nearly did like dislocate my shoulder, I'm pretty sure, just from being stupid to be honest, because on Monday I hit 130 and I hit it pretty clean. Yeah, not a problem. Like so that was that was a PR, I was really happy with that. And then today, because Dano didn't train on Monday, right, he wanted to hit a PR today. So he was going heavy anyway, so I was like, well I, I may as well I know you're not supposed to. And that's how I hurt myself. You know, go heavy twice in like a week. You're supposed to leave like three weeks between PR attempts at least. I'll probably take a deload in there somewhere as well, and I just didn't do either of those things. But uh, yeah, I, I got 125, 125 felt easy, so I was like, yeah, you know what, we'll get 130. The first one you saw, I just brought it up, or brought it down too high on my chest, so when I came, when I tried to push off, it was pushing off from here, and it was nearly like a shoulder press then, it was just, uh, it wasn't going up, so that was bad. So I was angry with that because I thought I had it in me, because it still moved even though it was the wrong place. So I was like, no, I'll go again and I'll get it. And then as you saw, it just it didn't move, so yeah. Um, and I hurt my shoulder a little bit, so I was quite wary of my shoulder there. So what we did to finish the workout there, we didn't record it, just did some press-ups, weighted press-ups, actually just put 10 kg plates on the back and did press-ups, you know, like 10 with the plates, 10, excuse me, 10 without, and just burned out. But uh, yeah, I've had a great day, bar nearly killing myself in the gym, had a great day, I'm so excited, like, genuinely so excited to go and live in California for the summer, it's going to be amazing, like, and the, do you know what, I, the thing that was really exciting for me is the fact that I can bring this and bring you along with me for this, because when I get there, guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to probably buy a drone straight away, like, that's going to be one of the first things I do is just invest in a drone, just to have some amazing shots of, like, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Area, everything, like, it'll look amazing. And then we're going to have a GoPro going over as well. And we're probably going to buy a really nice camera for taking pictures. And we're just going to really try and make the most of that three months. Uh, which yeah, I, can't, I can't wait. Also, also, shredding starts on uh, Monday. So the, the college competitor starts on Monday. I can't wait. That's It's going to be great. And before that is Drake is on Sunday, which is also going to be... I'm just having a good week, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's just been a really good week. Um... Saturday, Friday and Saturday I have stuff planned as well, like, uh, just like little date nights and stuff with, you know, the friend from Colum or my best friend who's Col Colombian girlfriend is here now, date nights and stuff, 
and then just eating nice food and enjoying myself because I can't do that then for the rest of the next 10 weeks or so. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm in a really good mood, having fun, life is good. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video guys, as always leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I will see you. I'm probably going to vlog Sunday to be honest, I'm going to vlog the Drake concert, like I'm not going to bring my camera, I'll vlog like the start of the day with the camera and stuff, and then I'll do the rest on the iPhone because uh, I'm not bringing my camera to that concert. And I'm not going to record too much of the actual concert because I want to enjoy it, you know, and not just be on my phone the whole time. But, uh, yeah, I'll try and record some. I'll try and get up the front and get some good shots of Drake. So, uh, yeah, I'll try and get on stage, dude. I'm not going to try and get on stage. But anyway, I'm rambling. I will see you on Sunday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.